He's late. He'll be here, don't worry. This is exciting. Real politician in our little town. You hear that, Leslie? Thanks, Lorraine. I'm really nervous. <laughs> like, I think I may need to drain the main Lorraine, if you know what I mean. Sorry? It's like I'm meeting the Pope. I'm not even religious. You just let me do all the talking. Uh, you did bring those documents that he needs to sign, right? You said you were bringing them. Oh, you're talking about the acquisition papers for the property on top of Sony Springs Mountain? <laughs> yes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I left those at home. Sorry. Here he is. Well, Miss Browning, a pleasure to finally meet you. Please, call me <laughs> Leslie. <laughs> Mike Finch. Vice Mike. President of Development at Red Skies. Mike, pleasure to meet you. Lorraine Stewart, my lord. Uh, all my friends call me Quiche Lorraine, which is really funny because I, I can't stand eggs. <laughs> I said, let me do all the talking. <laughs> I do apologise for this old room, Minister Scullin. Our, our normal meeting rooms are currently being fumigated. We had a pest problem. One large pest, specifically. <laughs> Well, I wouldn't worry about the rooms. In all of my years in politics, I've seen uh, plenty of rooms which are much worse than these. So <laughs> don't worry at all. Oh, thank you so much. Found him. Oh, great. Do I believe who else I found? Oh, only the bloody mayor. Well, isn't this a turn of events? Using the old meeting rooms, I see. I guess I can understand why. Best to keep these kinds of meetings away from prying eyes, hey? Wouldn't want the town folks to get wind of anything that smelt a little off. Uh, Daryl, it's too late, mate. Uh, uh, Minister, can I call you Jim? Of course you can, Liz. <laughs> this is all just one big misunderstanding. Our outgoing mayor here has been a little upset lately about having to step down from office. Now, hold on a minute. Don't worry, I've had some recent experience with this, including a recent Prime Minister. Oh, yeah, did you see him eat that onion with the skin on? That was gross. Mm. Budgie smugglers! <laughs> Look, I'm sorry to barge in like this, Minister, but I think there's a thing or two you need to know about what these two have been up to. <clears throat> about these papers, Minister. Mm. Uh, Lorraine, would you mind taking our very confused mayor out? I think he's said enough. Have you told him about your plans to build a bed and breakfast up there? Well, I thought this was just a, a simple asset closure and reassignment. Oh, th that's, that's not, it's, uh, he's, he's just very angry. Um, it's... At, look, at the end of the day, as your department uh, outlined, Red Skies is the future of astronomy in Australia. I mean, uh, Siding Springs had every opportunity to transition into a more modern observatory and, and they didn't move with the times. Well, certainly that's, that's what I was briefed. It's unfortunate, but ultimately it's for the best. And if we can use that space, when they're gone, where, I mean, where's the harm in that? Well, there's none, there's none I guess. Yeah. Everybody wins. <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, now that's settled. Uh, shall we, Jim? It'd sure be a shame to shut them down. Especially on the very day they discover a new planet in our own solar system. Oh, now I know you've lost your mind, Daryl. I mean, you're joking, right? No, mate. Go and see for yourself. By the way, I, uh, I voted for your mob. Good man. It's too late. The minister's inside already, probably signing away Siding Springs to Leslie as we speak. Oh, no! So, what's the update with Hell? She's still working on it. Whatever it is she's looking for, it's not going to be easy to find. Well, I guess that's it. Surely there's something we can do. Well, even if Hell finds what she's looking for, this thing's too far gone. This is the attitude. Let's do something. Here he comes. Daryl, I've got to get moving. Uh, it's a long way back to Canberra, so, um, so I've got to make a start. All right. Excuse me, uh, Minister, before you get back to the big smoke, do you mind telling me if you can save our little observatory? We've worked too hard on it. 
me to come along and just body kick us to the curb. There's a very talented scientist up yeah. on that mountain, trying to make one of the biggest discoveries made in our solar system in decades. Maybe even the biggest discovery we've made in Australia ever. Oh, the, uh, and it mean anything to you all time? No, no, the mayor, the mayor mentioned something about that before. Well, he was right. Mm. I, I can't do this. You, you need to understand, um, I've approved the funding for Red Skies because they're a more modern and efficient facility, so they'll get the funding. But I haven't signed the documents. Mm -hmm. I haven't signed the documents. So what does that mean exactly? So what that means is that the observatory stays in public hands. You see, I think that something as important as the observatory should be owned by the public, shouldn't be able to be sold off to greedy property developers or bulldozed into the ground. So I haven't signed those documents. So we can stay. If you can find a way to keep it open and make it work, then I wish you the best. But I really have to go. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Cheers. Good luck. Thank you. Wait, what just happened? Did we win? Not yet, Steve. You set yourself up as Vice President of Development at a research centre. Fuck, what is that line? Helene, we've spoken about this. Yeah, well then, and then maybe, maybe you just thought you'd tell them, fuck, maybe you convince the lady scientist who works there just to give up her post willingly.